Hi guys, this is Ginjo from London Source, and today we're going to be talking about season two of The Last of Us. The sky has turned grey, the hound in the distance is starting to fade. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It's going to really help us uh, bring up more content for the channel, and it's obviously going to help us for YouTube to recognize our channel and our content too, as well. Yeah. We start season two with the name of the episode. It was the infected. And more, the grass in the valley is starting to We start the episode with uh, a bit of a, a flashback from what happened in season one. Uh, sorry, what, what happened in episode one. And uh, we get to see, we get to catch up and we get a bit of a backstory going forward with um, how uh, the infection started. Because obviously at episode one, we just pick up at uh, um, Joe's family, Joe's, you know, life. Also how Joe got to where he was. Uh, but in this case, we get a bit of a backstory regarding how the uh, virus spread. Uh, we kick off at Jakarta obviously um jakarta being one of the hottest countries in the world obviously the virus and the fungus um, um mutates from hot climate because of the global warming and jakarta has one of the largest um flower um flower factories and flower um flower farms too as well obviously we know that the virus broke out from a from a um, factory too as well which a few people died but uh, we get to see the body of the one person that the first uh, the first uh, woman that got infected too as well uh, we get to see this kind of scientist um um she's uh she was examining she's called a uh, mycologist uh, examining the body that's the first kind of infection the first kind of um um uh sample of an infected person that we get to see in the episode we get to see how the spores she notices the spores and they don't know what to do they're trying to keep it on the wraps it kind of reminds me of the conspiracy of how china kind of with the coronavirus but yeah and all that sort of stuff uh and everyone's conspiracy theory regarding coronavirus is very 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 familiar but yeah we get to see her when she notices um that the fungus has spread and has actually survived in a human body still after that person is dead uh that's when she realizes shit we're in trouble literally and what she does is that she leaves and uh, we can see the soldier telling her if it's going to get her infected she should get out of the room uh but she already realizes it's too late we see her crying in the car and she gives her feedback and literally she says it in a very very grim way and being dead honest she said there is no way we can be able to get a vaccine there is no way the virus can be cured the best thing is to bomb everything shell bomb every city she doesn't even at this point she doesn't even care about human life she just says bomb everything uh yeah but um yeah good bit bit of backstory regarding um how the virus started this episode is very 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 um um similar to the game it's like the fans of the games will really really love this most scenes from the outside you know the kind of post-apocalyptic world even the lobby of the hotel looks exactly like the games too as well the museum too as well obviously this episode we get to see some clickers too as well which is quite good you know that we get to see them in the second episode they're fucking hard to kill too as well um we see joe and ellie so yeah we pick up a joe joe and tess obviously watching ellie as she sleeps in a kind of rundown kind of post-apocalyptic apocalyptic uh building she was sleeping uh yep yeah, peacefully and they were literally watching her intensely because obviously in the last episode they found out that she was infected and they were just waiting for her to wake up she wakes up good sense of humor as usual making light of the whole situation but all of them are pa panicking you see <laughs> joe's hand is on the trigger just waiting obviously she's a small girl but he's not going to take chances she told him she can't get affected but they're still waiting for her to change she kind of starts explaining a bit about her situation that she's not going to change a bit of humor we see her trying to <laughs> trying to say it's been two days normally the once you're bitting within an hour you start changing but it's been two days she starts telling them that um yeah she's never going to get infected again Nothing's going to happen to her. There's a funny scene whereby <laughs> all of them are standing there. She starts making... Which is... <coughs> Don't. Funny. 
you know, it kind of eased up the tension a bit from Ellie. But yeah, it's quite, quite good. Uh, quite good. Uh, but yeah, uh, we move on to, um, uh, um, Joe, Joe and, uh, Joe and Tess, uh, arguing that at this point, Joe and Tess really want to just take her to Salt Lake City, get a reward. Joe wants to literally go and find his brother. That's all he's worried about too as well. Uh, but yeah, he's not really bonded with her. He's trying not to bond with her as best as he can, really not to be able to get attached again. Uh, as what happened to his daughter, he's still getting flashbacks in regarding that too as well. Uh, they end up going through the hotel, going through the city. They, before you know it, they get into the museum. As soon as they get into a museum, they see a dead body there. Obviously, they notice that it's been killed. It's been killed in a weird way. At that point, they've never met anyone, uh, any kind of infected apart from the runners. This is the first time we're actually going to see the clickers. So um, they keep on panicking. They, they keep on saying that uh, Joe, and, Joe and Tess, even Ellie said, I've never seen anybody killed like that. And it's a fresh kill too as well. Before we know, we start hearing that click, click sound. Absolutely amazing. Very, very faithful to the game. Fan of the games would really, really like that. They look amazing. And they, as I said, very, very hard to kill. They use echolocation, obviously. They're a bit, as as I wanted, obviously, that's what makes it a bit interesting. They're, they're a bit different from your normal zombies from The Walking Dead. They're very, very intuitive in regarding the clicking. You know, they don't even need to, they can't see, but they can be able to hear and sense and they can be able to communicate. There are two clickers too as well uh, there. But yeah, um, obviously, um, Joe tries to kill uh, he panics too as well. He kills a few of them, most of the clickers. Him and Ellie get separated uh, and Tess too as well, but he gets to kill them. It took him a while to kill one of them, to be fair. They're very hard to kill. He had to, I don't know why he didn't shoot them in the head, but he, he, he shot them a few times too as well. Unfortunately, when they kill, because obviously the infected, the good thing about obviously the zombies in uh, the, uh, the Last of Us uh, is that they they are literally connected by this fungi so there's loads of them outside too as well but once he kills the clickers they can be able to kind of feel by the roots because they're all connected to this weird vines of the fungi they literally notice that somebody has been killed so they start rushing in towards the end start panicking trying to get outside obviously and towards the end Tess uh, decided that no we're taking this girl to Salt Lake City um, obviously, uh, Ellie has already explained to them that the reason why, you know, they're trying to help her is because they feel like her blood There's a group of scientists in the Fireflies that, um, that want to use her blood because she's the first person that's gotten bitten, but not get, uh, gotten infected. So her, her blood might get a cure. Obviously at this point, Joe is tired. He's had so many disappointments. He's heard so much bogus stories about cures that failed. So he kind of says it's bullshit. Uh, but Ellie's bound on, but we don't know, actually, the most saddest thing and the biggest casualty of this episode that Ellie has already been, not Ellie, sorry, that Tess has already been bitten. And um, yeah, we see it and uh, Ellie already knew and she says she's been bitten. And unfortunately, there's nothing they can do. The saddest thing too is well, I felt so bad for Joe because since his daughter died, he's the only person kind of opened up try to open up to is Tess and now she's got she's got bitten she's like she was begging them literally shoot me they're gonna come and we can hear the runners coming the infected coming inside and Ellie's like you know putting petrol to use what it looks exactly like the game too as well that's honestly that's what I loved about the episode and uh it was quite a sad scene too as well unfortunately he couldn't kill her and um they all ran outside and she had lighter and um and uh, obviously Ellie's a bit upset that they left her there, but she had a lighter. It was such a <laughs> uh, like a belly drenching scene that Ellie, the infected, were coming in. They were literally passing her by. I thought they were passing her by because um, obviously they sense that she's infected, but they notice her. He comes. He literally one of the infected gives her a gross kiss of death, like putting the spores in her. Not the spores, sorry the the tentacles of the infected into her mouth, trying to infect her properly. And bless her, she was literally trying, trying to light the lighter, to put the petrol on so she can be able to kill all of them, to give them a bit of a chance to run. And it was like the lighter was never going to light. We can see her literally getting infected. Like, it was so hard to watch, man. I felt so bad for Tess. 
uh, you know, obviously I already knew that she was gonna, she was gonna die, but it's so sad to as well, but yeah, very, very good way to end the scene, uh, finally she gets to light, light, light the lighter, and she blows everyone to kingdom come, um, uh, and they're outside, literally, you can see the scene whereby they're staring at, you know, the whole building blowing, and, you know, Tess dying, and you can see, like, Joe, literally, closing up again, you know, he doesn't trust this girl, and, but, but at that, at that point, at least he gets to, uh, th their journey starts just like in the game, properly, just him and Ellie, um, taking on that father figure again, Pedro Pascal, he, oh, he's always the step, the, the foster father, <laughs> just like, he reminds me of the Mandalorian too as well, taking on that foster father, figure again slowly when they walk in with ellie even when she's making jokes she's walking a bit further anyway but when they walk in when they see when they get in the screen together you start hearing the soundtrack play after the last of us which is quite 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 nice to be fair but yeah this is when the second part of their journey would start obviously we get to hear Ellie asking about um what um different types of infected and she she talks about just like in the game uh the the bloaters that throw spores at you and spew acid too as well and uh yeah we get a bit of reference in regarding that but uh, yeah very very nice episode true to the game i'm very sure the fans of the game would love this episode uh yeah um it's it's getting better and better it's getting more it's original has done really well uh in regarding uh the originality with the game good pacing too as well uh at least we get to see the zombies too as well quicker they're not delaying anything the next episode we get to see bill and ted obviously they're going to be very useful for the next next course help um uh john ellie in the future very very uh relevant to season three too as well uh yeah but very very good episode um yeah um as i said we're going to be giving you uh breakdown episodes every week as soon as they come out if you like this content once again please like and subscribe we will try as much as possible to bring you fresh content to you as well thank you